So how is your memory? When you think back on things, do you focus on the positive? In this week's Minute with Drexel, the focus is on remembering the good things in life as a way to help get through the challenging times. Hey y'all, I saw a meme on social media the other day that said, I don't mean to brag, but I can forget what I'm doing right in the middle of doing it. Ha! <laughs> can you relate? I can. Today I want to talk to you about the importance of remembering. When my daughter Lauren was a toddler, she had trouble with a few words like most toddlers do. Uh, yesterday, for instance, became Losterday, and her sister Avery's name became Awee. She also had trouble with remember. And so when she would recount something to me that we had done, she would go, remember mommy, remember? Today I wanna to talk to you about the importance of remembering. Remembering the good things in our lives is important, especially when we are going through difficult challenges. Psychologists will tell you that if instead of focusing on the negative circumstances surrounding you, you think about the times in your past where you have received goodness and mercy and blessings and favor, not only will it make you stronger for your challenge, it will also help you approach every day in a more positive manner. They will also tell you that it is important to give thanks for those times that you received goodness and mercy and blessings and favor. It reinforces the strength you're gaining and the positive outlook that you have each day. We are told also in the Psalms that it is important to tell others about the goodness we have received. And that is important because you know whenever you do that, you may be able to help somebody else who's going through a challenge be stronger and face the days with a more positive outlook. Whether the goodness, favor, blessings, and mercy that you have received have come from friends, family, divine intervention, or all of the above, I want you today to intentionally write down a list of those good things that have happened to you in your past. Take that list, put it on the refrigerator door or on your mirror where you brush your teeth every morning. Read it every day for a week and see if it doesn't make a difference in the way you approach tomorrow. And that's your Minute with Drexel. And we appreciate you making WKRG part of your Sunday morning routine. Coming up, we'll tell you some new research that is 